Yo, busy guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can tell by the title on the thumbnail, I'm bringing you back another video on the channel. So, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get some sexy audio out of just a regular Blue Snowball microphone. So, without further ado, uh, let's uh, get on to the video. So, starting off, what you want to do is actually download uh, these uh, three things. And everything I'm talking about in today's video, uh, the links are going to be in the description below. So, first things first is going to be the preset that you will be needing. So, you won't have to do any setting up. All of this is going to be set up for you from the start by uh, me. So, first things first, what you want to do is download this file this is the preset and also a voice meter and also just before we do get further on into the video this also works for like live streamers and people that live stream but if you do live stream you don't need this third thing called audacity and um uh, also all this software is free so uh links in the description go grab it while it's free so First things first, what we're going to do is uh, download uh, this preset and a voice meter. So you want to go to the link in the description below, go to this voice meter website and scroll down and just download the exe file and press install over here. It's going to download the file and then press install and it's going to do all the jiggly puff for you. And after you've installed the file, what you want to do is um, grab this file and drag it, um, drag both of these onto your desktop. So when you've done that, what you want to do is open up a voice meter at the moment my voice meter is a little bit dead because my microphone is plugged into a different uh, laptop different computer as i wanted to do this tutorial for you guys on my main pc so first things first what you want to do is open up voice meter you should like after you install you should get like a little thing double click it open it up and when you open it up what you want to do is go into menu and then go into load settings and then when you go into load settings locate your preset file which should be called camille uh, blue snowball settings and uh, just press on that and just press open what that's going to do is go from all default settings all to these custom settings that make your microphone sound really, really sexy. So first things first, what you want to do is uh, take a note if all this hardware input and output is correct, because um, on some of the OSs, uh, it might um, it might change. I'm not sure why, but it might change. Just to make sure your Blue Snowball microphone is your uh, input and that your output is your uh, cable input. Uh, VB audio virtual cable which should be one of these um, yeah should be this one right here so after you've done that what you want to do is just minimize voice meter um, it should be working and after you minimize voice meter what you want to do is go to another link in the description below the last and final link and download audacity and this is a free program as well um this is actually the latest version it looks really weird the latest version okay i don't have the latest version of audacity but all the versions work exactly the same the only thing they change is the slight layout and the, the way it really looks like so download audacity there we go download press the big blue download button and then minimize this install it and it, you should get an icon like this on your desktop after you get that you open it up which i already have opened up as a project with an audio file from a previous video I play some Fortnite and if you like some Fortnite then do subscribe to the channel yes I'm gonna promote myself once again so uh, what you want to do is put some headphones on obviously because when you're editing audio um, you want some headphones on and um, yes yeah, so um, what you want to do is make sure you have your cable output VB audio as your input um, what this is gonna allow you to have uh, the voice meter already like you know when when you had your audio transferred into voice meter the voice meter did all the techie stuff fix your audio up and what it's going to do is uh uh, this is actually a virtual cable that came with your voice meter um, and then that's going to be your output from your voice meter and then you're going to use the output from your voice meter to your audacity software so uh, you, you want to have uh, this checked as your input and also make sure you're recording your audio as mono only in audacity that's uh, that's just to eliminate any other kind of glitches or something because I've realized when it's on stereo it might glitch time to time because it's coming from one software to another and we don't want any audio glitches or anything so mono keeps your audio nice and safe and uh, your output it doesn't matter your speakers your headphones whatever you have so now what you want to do as you if you can see on my time I'm just gonna zoom in slightly um, I kind of stay quiet I mean this is just me rumbling around getting into position obviously uh, position mm. no just sitting down on my chair but then what you want to do is have that couple of seconds of silent like we have right over here this is a couple of seconds of silent where you don't move you don't breathe. okay you can breathe obviously but don't breathe down your mic just sit back like this and just be silent for a little while and then when you're silent for a little while what you want to do is um just uh 
just sit back, relax, and let the microphone pick up any ambient sounds, like your PC fans, any sorts of static, whatever that's in your room. And when it does, it, this is what happens. Right, did you see this bopping up and down? I'm going to play it once again. Right, so this is all the noise that you don't want. And then also over here, it's just me clapping my hands just to sync things up. It's not actually audio glitches. I'm just going to play it for you, just for you guys, just for you guys' sake. Yeah, just for me, just so I can sync up the audio afterwards. And clapping audio things and create spikes and it's just much easier to sync it up than trying to find specific words that you want to sync it up with it just does it to uh, like it allows you to sync it up precisely but that's for a different video so um there we go you find that little silent moment right here and when you do what you want to do is just highlight it and also you want to zoom in zoom in and you zoom in by pressing control and then you uh, zoom in with your mouse scroll wheel and um this is not going to go, oh, I'm, I've broke it, right. So uh, what you want to do is highlight it. Also, if you've got like those little peaks over here, like you see that little peak, um, if it's not, it's not for too much. So include one of these peaks, why not? <laughs> include one of these peaks on one end and just highlight a good portion of your audio where you're sitting silent, but also where it is pick up the background noise and don't do any tapping or anything on the desk or anything because that's going to mess up your audio when you're speaking later on because it's at a different frequency. Static audio and your ambience audio and your, mar uh, your, like your voice, any sort of tapping, clicking noise is completely different frequency and can mess up your audio completely. So well, you just want to select the silent bit where you're completely silent, but you can still hear the background noise, um, such as the static or your computer fans. And then what you want to do is go into the effects and uh, noise reduction. When you're on noise reduction, get noise profile. What it does, it remembers the frequencies that are in this area and highlighted, and it remembers them as you don't want them. Okay, it remembers this highlighted bit. So what you want to do is click again so to unhighlight this area and then go control A. And when you control A, what happens is that you select the whole thing, right? When you selected the whole thing, what you want to do is I'm going to do it again because, yeah, there we go. Uh, control A, we want to do go back to the effect noise reduction. Instead of pressing get noise profile, what you want to do is actually press OK. And what it does, it does it for you. This is a really long file, so it's going to take 30 seconds to do. So what it does, it remembered the frequencies that you highlighted at first in that little silence segment. And then when you uh, highlighted it all and went into noise reduction and pressed OK, what it did, it remembered those frequencies, it grabbed those frequencies, and now it's analyzing uh, the whole um, timeline. And when it analyzed the whole timeline, what it's going to do is just take out those frequencies and you're just going to be left with your cleaner voice because your voice is obviously at a, a much higher frequency or lower frequency it's just a completely different frequency than for example your pc fans or maybe for example any sort of air conditioning or any sort of background noise that you may have in your room so it's finally done and um as you can see it's still all highlighted what you want to do is to check if your audio is perfectly fine because sometimes it could mess up some of the frequencies on your video and just generate your audio so what you want to do is go back to that silent area and see if it's actually silent if it is that's fantastic let's play it It's silent. It's generally silent. That's fantastic, guys. Like, um, you, you, you can see those little peaks and stuff, but that's because there are some frequencies it didn't take out. But to be honest, you can't hear it in your headphones. You can't hear it at all. Um, and you can't hear any static, which kept on going all the way up to, like, what? Like, 42 playback decibels thing? Minus 42, I think this is it. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. But now what you want to do is just go into for example the intro part anywhere in the video and just test out the see if the audio sounds sexy so i'm gonna play and see how the audio turned out yo boys and girls welcome back to the channel today as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail i'm bringing you back another video on the channel so today as you can see it was fantastic. The audio is nice and sexy. And what you can also do when you're editing in post-production, like in Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas or whatever software you're using, uh, you can enhance it even more, add a little bass to it or whatever. But um, this is how you can clean your audio out and also make it sound extremely and extremely sexy. But um, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, Hopefully, you guys helped many of you guys. Also, if you want to make your audio sound even more sexier, invest into one of these. Um, 
one of these pop filters will make your audio sound extremely uh, good and it will eliminate all the P's, B's and all the pops and any sorts of air like if you're breathing on your microphone or anything you're not really going to hear it on the microphone because the pop filter will break down the air and will make sure that the clean audio straight from your mouth goes straight into the microphone no extra air or anything that would distort the microphone sense but anyway guys it's only me but i'm gonna end this video here so i hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to leave a like if you really love them make sure to subscribe and make sure to check out all my other videos and if you want any more of these sorts of tutorial videos then do tell me in the comment section below but anyway guys thank you so so much for watching take care everybody and bye bye